Alright guys, welcome to another Rainbow Six Raven Shield video. And in this video I want to cover a little known AI mod. It was actually brought to my attention in the YouTube comments. And uh, it's called the uh, uh, Malayas AI mod. Uh, for Raven Shield, and what it does is pretty amazing. Uh, as you guys know, I've reviewed other AI uh, modifications, specifically Droopy's uh, Enemy Realism mod, and that was for the original Ghost Recon, which increases the dispersion or the uh, inaccuracy of the AI. Uh, one of my pet peeves, and I think a lot of the tactical community, is that we don't like uh, AI, uh, you know. AK sniper fire or <laughs> in this game uh, there's a lot of pistol sniper fire where you walk into a room and all of a sudden you get headshotted from you know across the room meanwhile your guys can't shoot anything um, so that that is very frustrating about Rainbow Six and that's a point where games like SWAT 3 excel uh, specifically SWAT 3 has just amazing CQB AI uh, so the uh, specific AI mods that I particularly like uh, have to do with decreasing the ability of of the enemy to shoot so accurately. And it, in a lot of these counterterrorism games um, or simulations, the it, it almost seems as if the AI is the elite, and your team members are actually the the scrub team when it actually should be opposite. So for the sake of realism, I really enjoy these AI mods. Um, so I talked about Droopies. Uh, I also uh, have featured uh, Redrick's AI mod for Brothers in Arms and Road to Hill 30, which is really great. And so this is really exciting. It, if you've if you've played Rainbow Six at all, and you've been frustrated by the uh, AI, you should strongly check out this mod. Uh, and I'll post the links. One note is that 1.06 will not work. Uh, it just it just won't work for this version. Uh, but the 1.05 uh, um, Mayas' AI mod will work for this, and I think that's why people are having issues with it. Uh, the second thing is I'm actually running the AI mod on top of uh, Raven Shield 2.0, so it does actually work. Alright, so uh, one thing that I like to do is to have, you know, all my teams hold, and there's a uh, there's a all teams hold, and then there's a toggle team hold. So if you want to control your your uh, you know green and red teams, all teams, look, everyone stay put. You can just give them the all teams hold, and then if you just want to keep your team in place, Reform up. hold up, all you just give the uh, toggle team hold, and I'll I'll demonstrate that. And these sites are not 100% accurate, so I am using the minimum uh, hostile neutralized. the minimum uh, auto aim. All right, so let's continue here. These sites are really cool, and that's the Raven Shield. Hostile neutralized. Raven Shield 2.0 that provides those sites. And what's also cool is you can kind of shoot uh, just from the shoulder with eyes on target. It enables you to do that as well. If you remember in the original sites, it just has a reticule, which I have disabled currently. All right, so we'll set up along this wall here. Fall in. Coming to you. Reform on me. Hold for fall in. On the way. There's a slight bit of transparency on these. Oh, I'm out of rounds. <laughs> That's what I get for disabling the HUD. I do like the immersion level uh, that it provides. It kind of gives more of a ghost recon type feel, and it takes away all the uh, superficial HUD off of there. Hold up. Holding. Go, go, go! Move out. So one thing you can do... Reform on me. Hold position. It's on to hold, and then they'll, they'll basically just maintain that position and, and cover uh, different angles. The uh, Raven Shield 2.0 does have these amazing looking skins, and they are really, really cool. Really nice. 
All right, so let's talk more about what the AI mod actually does. Uh, there's a whole change log, and to be honest, I've only played with this a tiny bit, and it's already impressed me to the point where I want to do a review video on it. It just really is that good. Threat down. Fall in. So, like I said, you know, this is really a revolutionary mod. If you haven't played Rainbow Six in a while, Try this mod out and it really will uh, just gives you the feeling of being on an elite counterterrorism team. The AI, uh, just their reaction time is a lot faster. I've never seen the AI shoot the way they are. Uh, a lot of times uh, they'll Hold be in situations Holy. where uh, they'll be getting shot at and they'll kind of do this panic maneuver and then they'll go and just run for cover. Okay, that's kind of their standard MO. <laughs> uh, as you see them take a kneeling position here, and that's a part of the AI modification. If you leave them long, lo long enough, leave them alone, excuse me, long enough, they'll take that kneeling position and they'll start covering sectors. And what you'll notice with the AI mod is that they will cover angles. Traditionally, with Raven Shield, if you're in a stacked up position, you know, you got this guy looking to the right, this guy probably looking to the left and covering our six. And uh, what's hap what traditionally happens is in a stacked position, the AI 90% of the time will not shoot at all. They will just not shoot if you're in the line of fire or any type of sector. The AI mod actually increases the uh, field of view for, for the friendly AI up to 120 degrees so they can actually spot targets that are beyond, it used to be 80 degrees, so that's a significant improvement and you got to wonder why the devs didn't include that in the original title. Uh, what that means is that in a stacked position, a stacked formation, they can engage tangos to the right and to the left, Reform which on is really revolutionary. Alright, so let's continue clearing here, hopefully I can demonstrate some of these dynamics. And you know, one thing you'll notice is that the your friendly AI are going to be engaging tangos like you've never seen before. One of the downfalls of the original Rainbow Six Classic, uh, as well as Rogue Spear, is that the Alpha Go, including actually up to this title, is that the AI continued to be plagued by down. slow uh, slow reaction times and just bad decision making. I think the devs thought because of our advantage as human players that it would offset they had they had to make this ridiculously hard AI enemy AI perfect example right there <laughs> turning this corner and the AI you could see how he was engaging he wasn't he wasn't just taking one shot like they usually do he was double tapping uh, this mod is amazing. Look, they got... I mean, both of them are engaging. <laughs> that was just awesome. Alright, let's keep moving. Stop standing around in the middle of the room here. Both AI... I've never seen that before. Two AI engaging at the same time, engaging at our six. Usually what happens is some some uh, enemy AI sneaks behind us and wipes out the entire team all the time and it's incredibly annoying. So that was a great example of that. I'll kind of enter here and see what they do. <laughs> awesome. Didn't That was not me, that was the, uh, again, friendly AI. Uh, I'll mention this again, 1.06 does not work Hold with up. this. Or I haven't got it to work at least, but 1.05 does work. So again, this bounding overwatch, uh, I just tell my team to hold there and they'll kind of cover while I move. And it works very well for uh, any surprise enemies that may pop up. Okay, so once I'm established up here, I'll cover both of these doors. These sites are awesome. Big thank you to the uh, Raven uh, Shield 2.0 team. I don't know who you guys are, but thank you. And I know that uh, the latest uh, project got canceled, unfortunately. But this is this is good to go. Down. 
Now, <laughs> the only thing I could say is that this title honestly and truly finally feels the way it should have from the beginning. You're part of an elite counterterrorism team. These guys are chosen, supposedly in the fictional title that Tom Clancy wrote, chosen from the elite tier one counterterrorism teams all over the world. And you think these guys would be engaging uh, tangos, but in fact they were just really weak. Uh, and now they're they're awesome. Uh, I think some modifications may have been made to the enemy AI to make them less accurate as well because I have noticed, or maybe our guys are just that much better. I think I have noticed that the AI might be a little bit slower on the draw. I'm not sure. So after you try this, you will not, I guarantee you will not be able to go back to the original AI. And this is groundbreaking like uh, like Redrick's AI mod, like Droopy's AI mod for Ghost Recon, uh, which reduces the accuracy um, of the enemies. It just adds to the immersion. I also did an Arma uh, AI mod, which reduces the accuracy. And a lot of times in the mission briefing, they'll tell you that these guys are a bunch of amateurs and, <laughs> and they'll wipe out your entire team, which shouldn't happen. Uh, Alright, so now we're at a breach point. On me. Okay, so this is a great situation where I'll hold tell out. my team to hold here. In fact, just to show you how they cover. Alright, so they're either kind of covering, and I'll take a flanking position around. I know that there's enemies over here. And you can see that they were able to negotiate that very easily. I think both of them were actually firing, and again, they're, they're taking a knee. I don't just stand around and get them ready to get shot. Alright, so <laughs> there's a memorable moment coming up, and I hope you guys <laughs> are still with me <laughs> with this video. You can shoot from the hip again, which is really cool, uh, and I do have slight auto-aim enabled. Do a reload here. Okay, so this scene right here reminds me exactly of a title which should remain unmentioned, but I will talk about it. Sterling's takedown, the stairwell, uh, the the oil rig uh, platform, and it just reminds me of that title. But the reality is, is you know enough enough has been said about that. I don't think I really need to talk about that any further. Um, but I will say that Rainbow Six is still alive, and it is it is a far better tactical shooter than anything that has ever been produced. Uh, I did go back and play the original uh, Rainbow Six classics, and again, they they do struggle with poor AI. Uh, Rogue Spear did incredible advancements on the uh, reform on me on the AI, uh, or if you remember in the original, your, your guys would always get stuck in corners and things like that. And then in Rogue Spear, the uh, enemy AI just went through the roof. I mean, the, talk about AK pistol yeah. fire. Pie the corner here. Hostile down. And what's cool is you can keep your gun in a low ready position and then come up when you need to. I like that. With the iron sights here. All teams, move out. With you, sir. Fall in. Alright. All teams, hold. Holding. Alright, so what I'm doing now is just setting a charge on this door here. What was that? And I'll let the other team clear. Open and clear. Bravo, go. Neutralized. Mission completed. Nothing's moving. You're clear. All right, thanks for joining me in this video, guys. Hope you check out this mod.